Hey, everybody. Um, I want to apologize in advance for how this sounds because I'm recording this in my car, so I don't know if that makes it sound different or whatever. Um, but holy fuck, like, I just need to get this out because I know you guys will understand. So, like... <sighs> I am parked at Wegmans, my favorite store, because um, I have to get some shit. But before I did that, I wanted to just calm down a little bit. Um, I had my car inspection over at this place called Monroe's. Uh, again, I don't know if that's like a New York thing, if that's a stateside thing, if that's a worldwide thing. I don't fucking know. Um, I just know that they can fix my car. And I've been going to them for years and I would just rather keep going to them even though I can get stuff done cheaper at a local garage place. But, you know, change. I, I'd rather just pay extra to not have to change. So, like, I go in there and I don't mind Monroe's. I've been there. Like, obviously, you have to go every year to get your car inspected. Um, but there's only, like seven chairs for people to sit in and you know it's a small area oh sorry I feel like I can hear my own dry mouth that much louder god that's so gross I'm sorry guys um yeah so like I go in I give them my keys to my car I sit down there's like one other person in there and it's this fucking lady who is on her phone doing like FaceTime with somebody and like talking to them. And I'm like, is this really happening right now? And so like, you know, I go to sit down, like I said, and then somebody else comes in and then they sit down and, <laughs> and then another person. So there's like three of us in there, plus the people that were working at the garage, having to listen to this fucking lady, like talking about how she used to be in prison like 15 years ago. And just for the record, I'm not judging. I don't care if people have been in prison. I mean, I do as far as like, that's a pretty shitty place to end up. But like, you know, people make mistakes and they go to prison, like whatever. Like I used to work with a lot of people that had been in prison and that were addicted to drugs and alcohol. And I left those people because nobody else did. Um, at least when they came to see me initially. But anyways, so like, I'm not judging her for like what she's saying. I'm judging the fact that this fucker is like just talking just as loud as I am. Like she's not whispering. She didn't lower the volume on her fucking phone. She's just having this conversation. Like she's at her house by herself. And I don't like go outside, you know, and like funny because the person sitting next to me, she got a call and before she answered it, she walked outside so that she, you know, well, she probably did that because she wouldn't be able to hear herself on the phone. But like, that's what people do is they, they get a call, they walk outside, they take the call so they don't interrupt like everybody else that's sitting in there or a disruptor or whatever. Um, cause you can't really interrupt people sitting, but <laughs> But, like, some things are just, I thought they were common sense. Like, I thought that there was just some things you don't do in public. Like, why the fuck? Why the fuck would you do that? And she's just going on and on about how her car is, like, about ready to die. And she can barely afford, um, I guess they were just looking to rack, like, they were just, I guess they were looking at her car to write down all of the fucking issues. And then what those issues will cost to fix um, and then give her the list so that she can, like, fix it on her own time. Um, which, whatever. But, like, she's she's sitting in there talking to this person say, They're going to find so much shit wrong with my car. Oh, my God. I'm not going to be able to afford this. And, you know, like, I have to go to work. And it's across the street at Walmart. And it's at 3 o'clock. And they better be done before I get there because I have to be there. And it was just over and over and over repeating herself. Complaining. Uh, you know, like I was so close because this is what I would have done 10 years ago. I would have maybe, maybe even five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. I would go with probably five years ago. I would do this. I would be, and I've done it before in other situations. I would have been like, excuse me. Like, do you not realize that like you're being so rude right now? Like, can't you go outside? And you know, just from experience that never goes well there's confrontation. There's just, I, I don't need that. I don't want that anymore. 
I'm too scared to point out to somebody that's just like on a phone call. I mean, if somebody was doing something wrong, like illegal or immoral, I would definitely say something. I don't give a fuck. But like stuff like that, um, I just, I don't say anything because I know it's not going to go well. The person's not going to like apologize. At least it's never happened in my case where they're like, oh, I'm very sorry. I didn't realize this. And then they go somewhere else, like outside or something. But no, like if you don't realize either you don't realize how the fuck loud you are or like you seriously don't give a shit that these people can hear you. Oh my God. Like I don't even like when my wife can hear me doing a pot, like recording. She has to be out of the house most of the time for me to feel comfortable doing that. Like, oh, and so before I came to this appointment, um, I was looking for a new Kindle book to read. Um, Cause I just, you know, like, I don't like to bring actual books because I don't, I don't care for people to see what I'm reading. That's like a whole thing. But anyways, and plus I never lose my phone and my Kindle's on my phone all the time. So I found this book and I was, it was about, um, autism that I hadn't come across yet. And I was like, Ooh, I'm so excited to read this. This will make the time pass by quickly while I'm over at Monroe's. And you know, like I've hung out in there for like two, three hours before while they were fixing some shit. And I don't get bored as long as I have something to do, which usually just involves reading on my phone. That's all. As long as my brain is like engaged with something productive, I'll wait. I don't care. And I'm not one of those people that like uh, will drop my car off and then come back later for it because then they'll just take their time to get around to it. But anyways, this is so tangential. That's not even what I was call or talking about. I'm calling. What the fuck? Yeah. So, uh, uh, so about the Kindle, cause that did relate. I, I read like maybe 50 pages and I don't remember a fucking thing I read. So I'm going to have to go back and just start over cause I, I just, I was losing my fucking mind. I'm like, this is all happening in my head. Nobody can tell that this is how I feel. I'm not visibly upset. I'm not sh like looking annoyed or tapping my foot in annoyance or anything like that. This is just all inside of my head. I'm screaming like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Oh my God. Just shut the fuck up. Like I feel crazy in situations like that. Like, it, and whenever I, and not just because I think that that's just, that was so fucking rude that she did that, but I don't know. Like, oh, oh I forgot what I was going to say. Cause a train just went by. <laughs> Oh my God. I park in the same spot in the same area every time I go to stores because like, I'll know if I go to that area, my car will be there somewhere. So like I park right in front of like where the train goes by. Yeah, I don't, what, I don't know what I was going to say because, you know, I look a squirrel. But so the lady left two minutes before my car got done. And it, then it was quiet like it should have been all along, you know, and like there were people they were looking at each other and like making comments and like laughing like, you know, I know they were laughing at her and like talking about her, but um, I don't like doing that until the person's not in the room. <laughs> especially one like that. I don't, I don't know. I just feel crazy right now. I feel fucking crazy in my head because like, I just don't do well with like being in a room where somebody is talking and talking and talking and talking. And then like, there's other people that are trying to talk about like, this is what's going on with your car. And then they have questions. And then like, there's this other conversation going on. And then I can hear the person that she's talking to on the FaceTime. You know, like when I used to work for other people and we would do those stupid fucking weekly meetings that were never about anything. Um, this happened every week. I would feel crazy like this because people talk over each other. Oh, like it's just sensory wise, it fucks with me. Um, and so like, I just think it's, I'm kind of calming down now, even though it might not sound like it, but like, like, why, why did she do that? Like, and what time is it now? That bitch doesn't even have to be at work for another like 45 minutes from like what I overheard. So she couldn't have like had a conversation like that in her goddamn car or something like. 
like I, I you know and then what goes through my mind is okay because I start coming up with stories and sometimes that's fun to do when I'm not being like overloaded sensory wise but like so my story was um because I heard her talking to the person saying that like oh my husband's got group in like uh, an hour. So I, when she said group, I was like, oh, maybe he's like in rehab or something. So, you know, like can't help but listen and then wonder what the fuck's going on. I think she just wants attention. That's what I think. I don't know. Like the lady just wanted attention. She wanted people to notice her or something like that. Or maybe she wanted the mechanics to overhear her conversation about how she can't afford to pay for her car and maybe they'll go easy on her. Like, you know, I am 95% of the time able to work out why the fuck somebody's doing what they're doing. And this is a fucking superpower that I'm glad that I have because I have fucking honed that thing and refined it ever since childhood. And I can read people like you would not believe, but there's 5% of people that I just sit there sometimes and I'm like, I don't understand what your reason is for this. Um, you can't just say, oh, you know, people are mentally ill because like, you're not even supposed to say mentally ill anymore. Like maybe she has mental health issues, but I don't know, maybe not because like when her car got done and she hung the the phone up, she was talking like a normal person, you know, like just talking normal. So I don't know what that was all about. It was the worst fucking experience of my life. And I actually wished I had headphones, but I don't bring them with me, even though things like this happen, because I want to be able to hear when somebody calls my name for my car. I don't want to, you know, like, I just try not to draw attention to myself. But that lady was like all about people fucking like listening to her and her fucking phone call. Like, shut the fuck up. I came so close to just shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Oh my God. Like, I know this is going to sound crazy. Like, I'm going to regret having posted this later, but I'm just going to do it because this is in the moment. This is how I feel. I, I know you guys will probably understand and have been in similar circumstances. I haven't been in one of these in a while because I don't fucking go anywhere. I go to the store. I get groceries. I go, like, buy some shit that I want to eat. Uh, maybe I'll go walk around, like, Walmart or something if I'm bored. But, like, not usually that bored. I have everything I need at home. I don't know how people are just like that. I would never fucking do that. I would never. I wouldn't even whisper on my phone without it on speaker to somebody who called me. Like, I would not do that. I'd turn my phone down. Nobody hears the little boop boop when like the the text message thing goes off or the, you know, just be polite people. Please bring a book or something like fucking read and shut your mouth while your car is being worked on. Is that too much to ask for? So now I have to fucking go into Wegmans and get some groceries and that's going to be fun because more people. Um, That's all I've got to say. Uh, <laughs> very sorry, very, very sorry for however this sounded. I just needed to get that out. I hope it was relatable. Thank you for listening. Uh, uh and goodbye. <laughs>